Hello friends. In this video, we are going to discuss about the distribution of earthquakes. In which places earthquakes occur? In which belts? There are various belts in which earthquake occurs. And these places we have uh, we have uh, listed and then we call them a belt. Uh, there are certain places. No, there are a list of places. And these places when are counted together are called a belt. Because in, in a belt, many places lie. Okay, so let us discuss where uh, these earthquakes occur. Uh, you, you all know that earthquakes occur all around the world. But we will say where these earthquakes occur majorly. Okay, so the topic is distribution of earthquakes. Okay, the, so the first, you can see here I have written Circum Pacific Belt. Okay, so Circum Pacific Belt is the region where the earthquakes occur frequently. And this belt coincides with ring of fire. You know, in the, the topic volcano, we discussed about the ring of fire. This is the region where most of the volcanic activity uh, at present time occur on Earth. So, the Circum Pacific Belt coincides with the ring of fire. At the same places in the, in the uh, Pacific Ocean, this belt lies. And 80% 80 80 earthquakes occur here. Okay. 80% of the earthquakes of earth occur here. The second belt is Alpine Himalayan belt. As the name suggests, there will be two mountains, there will be mountains, one mountain will be Alpine and the Himalayan region. So this belt starts from the East Indies, passes through the Himalayan foothill region to Alpine mountain arcs in Europe. Okay. The third is Rift Valley region, region in East and Central Africa. This one is situated in Africa. And its name is Rift Valley region. Rift, you know, you know that is a that is just a mountain like its structure. It is not a mountain, but it is a uh, it is a uplifted structure that is called a rift. Okay. The fourth one is East Indian Belt, and the last one is uh, there is no name, uh, but uh, there will be regions. One that extends from Gulf of Aden, turns to west south of Africa, and goes up to Falkland. Icelands. Okay, so these are the uh, belts. These are the belts where the earthquakes occur. And uh, I want to give you information. Uh, first, we will read this. Earthquake regions are associated with the younger fold mountain regions. So this line tells us that earthquake mostly uh, occur in the region. No, no, it's not like this. It is like this. That the place where younger full mountains are found, that that is associated to the earthquake regions. Okay, so earthquake regions are associated with the younger full mountains. Means the place where younger full mountain, where the mountains are formed. Younger means the young mountains are formed because mountains we see nowadays are younger full mountains. Most of them are younger full mountains. So in these places, earthquake occur. Okay. Uh, the next information that I want to give you is about the scales. Okay, uh, in some videos of earthquakes, I told you about intensity. What is intensity? Intensity in, intensity is the degree of uh, measure of destruction. Sorry, measure of degree of destruction. That is called intensity. It means how much destruction is called? That is called the intensity. If the uh, destruction is more, then we can say intensity is more. And if the destruction is less, then we can say intensity is less so that is called intensity it means destruction uh, in one word we can say destruction how much destruction is caused that is intensity uh, to measure intensity there are three scales the most important of them means that we should know is Richter scale the second one is Marcelli scale the third one is Rosy Forel scale and uh, the another scale is to measure earthquake the seismic shock don't get confused between earthquake intensity and earthquake shock Earthquake shock is different thing. Seismic shock and earthquake shock is one thing. And uh, earthquake intensity is uh, the other thing. I told you the definition of intensity and earthquake shock is the shock, how much shock we are getting. And it is measured by seismograph. Now it's time for the notes.